All right, our high roll of page primers. Hope you're having a great day. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to everybody out there. I know it's a busy time. Here is a quick installment of one of the things you need to know about RISA 2022. Today's about offer to purchase forms. As of January 1, 2022, all offers of purchase must be written on a new offer to purchase that has been prescribed by the National Public Securities Commission. There is no fundamental changes in the construction of the offer. All that has changed is some terminology. Um, you know, it's where it says refers to the Brokers Act is now referred to the Services Act. It's where it referred to a selling broker is now called the buyer's brokerage. Uh, authorized official has been turned to associate broker. There's just terminology, terminology changes. So it doesn't change really anything you need to do other than you must use a new offer. If you use an old offer, uh, your uh, offer is invalid um, and you may not receive commission. So what you need to do are a few different things. The offers can be found on Matrix. It can be found on, sorry, on Keystone. It can be found on our hub. Uh, our staff are going to be printing out these offers and putting them in the offices. So there should be plenty of new offers around. If for some reason, let's say you receive an old offer from a different agent who's not up on things and they write it on an old one. There is an amendment form that you can attach to an offer, to the old offer, um, that kind of identifies all of the changes between uh, the old offer and the new offer. And so it can be attached to an old offer. That is a worst case scenario type scenario. I wish, uh, I want you guys to use a new offer so you don't have to worry about all that stuff, okay? Now, when using the new offer, um, you don't have to make this quadruplet copy thing anymore, okay? So you'll notice when you see it in print, you can just print them out, only one copy, you sign one, and you're still responsible to send a copy to the client, still re responsible to send a copy to their agent and a copy to the office, but it doesn't have to be in this quadruplet form. You can just scan, email it off, photocopy, whatever it is, a copy is a copy, okay? Um, not much of a change, but communication of acceptance and delivery of all copies must be considered to be done promptly. Okay, so there's no hanging on to offers. Yeah, I'll get it to the agent. Everything's getting, a lot more offers are being scanned and emailed and things like that. So there's not a lot of excuse not to be able to send a copy. Okay, you take a picture, text it, whatever it is. Uh, so if you are using the incorrect form, it may be subject to disentitlement of commission. You're gonna hear that word a lot over the next little while because that is basically the Securities Commission big stick is they'll say, if you don't do things the way we want, we're gonna take away your commission. So serious stuff. If you have copies of the old offers, if you got offers laying around in the chunk of your car in your basement, please don't throw them out, hand them into the office because uh, the Manitoba Real Estate Association is about three months away from actually printing and providing these offers to the offices, but they will be trading them in. So if we have old ones, we'll be able to trade them in and get new offers at no charge, it's kind of a trade program. So if you have old offers kicking around, please turn them into your office. And I think that is it for the offers to purchase forms for now. So again, as of January 1, it's the new offer to purchase. Make sure it says the Real Estate Services Act at the top and it says buyer's brokerage. Um, that's how you know it's it's the, the new and correct form. You can find them on the hub, you can find them on Matrix, uh, and you can find them on uh, in our offices physically. And if for some reason, just to recap, that an old offer is being used, it's invalid, and you must attach that schedule um, to an old offer being used. But ideally, again, don't use an old offer. That is it for now. Stay tuned for the next topic about what needs to be contained in your offer to purchase.